it's um, very good to be able to greet you this morning um, on a, another nice sunny day. Um, I hope you've had a really good weekend and um, that all is well. Really good to offer worship in our churches yesterday, both at St John's Staple Grove um, and um, at Norton, um, All Saints, and indeed to celebrate the christening of young Zachary on uh, Saturday, which was a um, really nice and uplifting event. Um, and of course, this is the first morning prayer, which um, I share with you um, formally as rector. Um, so uh, really good to celebrate my licensing on Thursday night. Um, and um, it was, a, again, a really joyful and uplifting service um, in um, Staple Grove Church uh, on Thursday, led by Bishop Ruth. So um, a real joy to be here um, properly, as it were. Um, we're not commemorating remembering anything specially today, um, and um, we will be offering Psalm 27 uh, and, um, and Luke 12, verses 1 to 12. Um, and in our diocesan prayer calendar, we're asked to pray particularly today um, for refugees, those displaced by, um, by war or um, other turmoil, of which, of course, um, we're more than aware there are plenty um, at the moment. So lots to pray for, as always. So we better turn to prayer. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, sovereign God, creator of all. To you be glory and praise forever. You founded the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. Fullness of time, you made us in your image, and in these last days you have spoken to us in your Son, Jesus Christ, the Word made flesh. As we rejoice in the gift of your presence among us, let the light of your love always shine in our hearts. Your spirit ever renew our lives and your praises ever be on our lips. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation, whom then shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life, of whom then shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host encamp against me, my heart shall not be afraid. And though there rise up war against me, yet will I put my trust in him. One thing I have asked of the Lord, and that alone I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To behold the fair beauty of the Lord, and to seek his will in his temple. For in the day of trouble he shall hide me in his shelter. In the secret place of his dwelling shall he hide me and set me high upon a rock. Now shall he lift up my head above my enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his dwelling an oblation with great gladness. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice, O Lord, when I call. Have mercy upon me and answer me. My heart tells of your word. Seek my face. Your face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not your face from me, nor cast your servant away in displeasure. You have been my helper. Leave me not, neither forsake me, O God of my salvation. Though my father and my mother forsake me, the Lord will take me up. Teach me your way, O Lord. Lead me on a level path because of those who lie in wait for me. Deliver me not into the will of my adversaries, for false witnesses have risen up against me and those who breathe out violence. I believe that I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and he shall comfort your heart. Wait patiently for the Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. <clears throat> so Luke chapter 12, verses 1 to 12. When the crowd gathered in thousands so that they trampled on one another, Jesus began to speak first to his disciples. Beware of the yeast of the Pharisees, that is, their hypocrisy. Nothing is covered up that will not be uncovered and nothing secret that will not become known. Therefore, whatever you have said in the dark will be heard in the light and what you have whispered behind closed doors will be proclaimed from the housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not fear those who kill the body and after that can do nothing more. But I warn you whom to fear. Fear him who, after he has killed, has authority to cast you into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies, yet not one of them is forgotten in God's sight. But even the hairs of your head are all counted. Do not be afraid. You are of more value than many sparrows. And I tell you, Everyone who acknowledges me before others, the Son of Man will also acknowledge before the angels of God. But whoever denies me before others will be denied before the angels of God. And everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. When they bring you before the synagogues, the rulers and the authorities, do not worry about how you are to defend yourselves or what you are to say. The Holy Spirit will teach you at that very hour what you ought to say. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. So, Heavenly Father, we turn to our prayers of intercession to pray for the world and the church and the day before us, thanking you for your word. Words reminding us of our value to you of the importance of placing our faith in you, not in worldly matters. So, Lord, give us the courage to do so. To trust not the world around us or even our own strength, but to put our faith in you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And, Lord, as we thank you for our worship offered yesterday, we pray that the seeds sown there will bear fruit, will strengthen us for our work as Christians, as witnesses, as servants this week. Lord, we thank you for <clears throat> Father's, Father's Day, grandfathers and so on. Lord, we give you thanks for all the ways in which fathers and male role models shape community and lord we're mindful of those for whom this father's day was was difficult perhaps those who have lost fathers in the last year lord in your mercy hear our prayer and lord We pray for the church, thanking you for Staple Grove and Norton churches, asking once again that your Holy Spirit will shape us, will lead us into being the communities of faith that you want us to be, enable us to base our communities and our values upon your own values those of your kingdom. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We're asked today to pray for uh, the media and the arts, 
So, Lord, we do thank you for all those who work in communication, praying for uh, Louise Wilmot and the communications team at the Diocese of Bath and Wells, and also for our own communications through all kinds of media. Thank you for our journals and uh, the journal and Norton News and the invaluable work that they do. Lord, we pray that you would open our eyes and ears to new <clears throat> methods of media. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, today we're asked to pray for farming and fishing, commerce and industry, and especially those whose work is, is unfulfilling or stressful or dangerous. So, Lord, we do pray for those who begin a new working week, for whom that work is difficult. Lord, we pray too for those who are unemployed, those who lack purpose in life. We pray, Lord, that your Holy Spirit will support them and enable them to find work. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Especially today, we're asked to pray for refugees, remembering, of course, that Jesus himself spent time as a refugee. Lord, we know that there are many people forced to flee from their own homes because of political reasons or warfare, thinking especially, of course, of the Ukrainians. We thank you for the willingness of so many people, not least in our own communities, to offer homes and welcome. Lord, we continue to pray for that war in the hearts of the Russian leaders in particular. We pray for them, that you would lead them into peace. Lord, we pray for those people too in our own communities who have difficult homes, those for whom life is not straightforward. We pray for your spirit of reconciliation to prevail. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And Lord, as always, we bring before you those people we know who are suffering, whether that be through sickness, physical or mental. We pray for those recovering from procedures or operations lifting especially to you, Janet, and praying too for uh, Derek. Lord, we pray too for those who grieve at this time, the friends and families of Stuart Albert, of James Garlick, of Jenny Edmonds, and of Elizabeth Spreadbury. Lord, we do pray that your Holy Spirit will grant healing and courage. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so, Lord, we pray for the day that lies ahead of us today, for all the tasks and activities to which you'll call us, asking that your Spirit will enable us to be the people you would have us be, to go out and be good news in the world, to point to your presence. O oh God, the strength of all who put their trust in you, mercifully accept our prayers. And because through the weakness of our mortal nature, we can do no good thing without you, grant us the help of your grace, that in the keeping of your commandments, we may please you both in will and deed. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. 
your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and for ever. Amen. Lord bless us, preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. And let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good to have you with me this morning, um, or indeed, if you're watching a bit later on, on catch up, as it were. Uh, I hope you have a great day and look forward to catching up again soon. Take care.